My name's Colin, this is my Laser Red 96 Cobra. I bought this car about four years ago. Uh, I didn't really have a whole lot done to it and I've been modding it ever since. Um, growing up, my dad had a 97 Roush Cobra and that's what kind of got me hooked on these cars. The 96 and 98s are all my favorite Mustang of all time. Um, so this car is pretty sentimental to me on that. I bought it with about, had about 14,000 miles on it when I bought it. I've already got 21 on it now, so I like to drive it and have fun. You know, don't want to let it set too much. As far as the engine, so the story with this car, it actually had a built motor um, in it. The, the guy two owners ago, I believe, he had a water methanol kit on it, and it was tuned for it. And the pump went out, and it leaned out and melted a couple pistons. So... He had the motor built, um, didn't really have a whole lot else done to it besides the Kenny Bell uh, 1.5 that's on it still. So from there I bought it, did a full exhaust, um, suspension, that just kind of snowballed from there. Uh, so it still has the 1.5 uh, Kenny Bell on it uh, for now. The next upgrade will be a 2.1. And then I did the full fuel system. Um, it's got a Glenn's sump tank on it. Um, it's got 95 pound injectors, so I'm good to go to the moon. Um, makes about 400 wheel right now, and that's keeping it pretty conservative because these Kenny Bells get super hot. They're not intercooled, as most of you know. And so I kind of got to watch what I'm doing, especially with it turned up this high. Um, yeah, it's got an Alki Control methanol kit on it now, um, just to play it safe. It's not really tuned for it, but just to keep things cool. Um, transmission, I just did a, a Tremec TKX swap. Um, it had a stock T45 in it with a stock clutch still for some reason and it was starting to slip. So I've got a McLeod Super Street Pro um, clutch, McLeod flywheel, the, the Tremec TKX. Um, the rear end um, I just had built too. It's got 373s with a true track and uh, 31 spline axles. Um, from there, the brakes, I just did the Brembo uh, ATS swaps up front. The rears are basically stock for now. I've got the brackets to put the, the GT500 rear rotors on it so I can get bigger rotors. Um, but that's next down the line. Um, cooling, it's just got an aluminum radiator in it, um, uh, an Edelbrock water pump. Um, just basically did anything I could to keep it cool. It runs about 180 degrees no matter what I do to it, so all that works pretty good. Um, as far as that with the suspension, it's got UPR coilovers, a UPR K member. Um, let's see, it's got the BMR upper and lower control arms, all on-car adjustable, adjustable spherical bearings. Um, I did the UPR torque box reinforcements. Uh, let's see what else. Got a, <clears throat> a rear strut tower bar in it. Basically everything I could do to make this thing handle good. Um, it didn't have subframe connectors when I bought it. I've got the Stifler's fit system um, subframe connectors on it. The Stifler's uh, transmission cross member. Um, the exhaust on the car has got BBK long tube headers with an off-road X and then a Magnaflow competition uh, cat back. Um, when I bought the car, it still had stock manifolds on it with um, an X-pipe and axle dumps, and it just sounded terrible. It sounds pretty good now. Plus, I like the look of the having exhaust tips. The wheels on the car are Circuit Performance CP21s. Uh, the, they're 18 by 9.5 in the front, 18 by 11 in the rear, uh, plus 20 offset on each. Uh, the tire size is uh, 315.30 in the rear 
and 275.35 in the front. And they fit pretty aggressive. Um, I'm worried about rubbing. It's especially as low as it is with the coilovers. You gotta kinda watch what you're doing if you want it setting this low with these wheels, but so far so good. Um, I actually bought these wheels as a trial. If anyone's ever looked these wheels up, they're super cheap. They're like seven or $800 for a set. Um, I was gonna buy a set of custom forge wheels, but I was really nervous about the fitment on these cars. A lot of people know the new edge fitments more than the SN95, SN so I went with these and they're spot on, so if I ever wanna upgrade, I'll get a set of custom forge wheels, not some knockoffs, and, and go from there. Uh, as far as the exterior, it's, it's laser red, original paint. Um, I just had it paint correct and ceramic coated so I can try and keep it nice. Um, I did the saline rear spoiler, and I also had the factory mirrors painted at the same time, so they matched. And then I just did the Raxium tail lights. Um, as far as that, uh, I did do the larger Cobra badges, the GT500 sized ones, and I did the Envoy um, uh, fog lights in the front. And other than that, the exterior is pretty much stock. Yeah, the interior is just stock seats. Uh, I just I did a bunch of gauges to watch everything. But other than that, it's pretty much it. Uh, my future plans with the car is upgrading the old 1.5 Kenny Bell to a new 2.1, and then putting a 10% lower pulley on it as well. And that with the E85 and the methanol injection, hopefully it runs cool enough, and I can spin it about 500 wheel, and I think it'd be about perfect there. Uh, so far, I've just used this to just drive around and have fun with on the street. I just want a nice handling street car, maybe do some autocross events with it. Um, just, just a cruiser, take to car shows, and just have fun with. Um, I didn't, don't want to make it too much of a race car, but uh, just kind of keep going with a nice all-around sports car. Uh, so far, I haven't really done a whole lot with it. Just when I have time, I like to go to car shows and... Um, just rip around on the street and that's pretty much it. Um, if anybody wants to follow me on Instagram, um, it's Colin Mitchell 111. Um, I'll post content of the future mods of this car and anything I decide to do with it. And, and I also have a, uh, an 800 wheel horse uh, GT500 as well. I like to post stuff about that. Um, and anyone can follow along for those builds. All right, and thanks for watching and uh, listening to my story about the car. Um, I'm real passionate about these, and I like listening to other people's stories as well. So um, make sure you subscribe to Cobra Owners and uh, follow along there.